Dunedin's night shelter is open. And it's all thanks to the kindness of strangers. A last minute end of year appeal has helped bridge the estimated $12,000 shortfall the Shelters Trust predicted last month. Shelter trustee Kevin Tansley says it's an ongoing challenge to have enough money to operate year round, relying on a variety of means. We get most of our grants, uh, most of our funding uh, from grants and appeals that we make. We receive no government funding and so we rely on the generosity of grant organisations. And there just happened to be a small shortfall for when some of our funding was coming due and that was the reason for the appeal. Following the shelter's cry for community support, donations big and small poured in as both businesses and individuals alike wanted to acknowledge and support the shelter in whatever way they can. We've had a whole variety of individuals from smaller donations to legal firms who have made larger donations in lieu of their Christmas appeals and so we're grateful that it's a response across the board. Uh, Dunedin has been very generous. And while they've received sizeable donations from big businesses and a law firm, Secretary Pat Robertson says they're happy to accept whatever people can spare. We range right down to ten dollars and $10 from one person might be a lot rather than 1000 from a firm, so yes, we're very grateful. The Night Shelter Trust believes the reason so many have rallied behind them is because they recognise how fundamental it is for everyone to have a roof over their head, particularly around Christmas time. The concept of homelessness in Dunedin, especially in summer, it's one of those things, or at any time of the year really, it's one of those things which I think doesn't sit well with the average Dunedin person and they empathise with them, especially over this holiday season. And while the shelter will remain open, those in charge say financial difficulties will always be part and parcel with what they do. But they remain positive that it will always work out in the end. And for now, that's certainly the case. Ruby McAndrew, 39 Dunedin News.